Okay, so this is a video of my mini mini barn tour. Um, I just set up a new barn, so yeah, let's get started. So we'll start down on this end. Um, so down here, we have um, the performance horses and then our stud. Um, the performance horses stay in these three paddocks in front of you. Um, we keep them um, along with the broodmares here all the time. They never leave unless we have to sell them. But they can participate in competitions with us. Um, so not many of the horses have names because I just don't feel like naming them all. So only a few of them have names. I think like two of them have names. So yeah. Yay me. Okay. Well, three actually. So yeah. This guy is a little gray thoroughbred jumper who we show in jumping. Um, well, eventing, I guess, even though he doesn't do dressage. He just does cross country and show jumping. And then this is a little Rainer, blue roan quarter horse mare. She's a Rainer. And then that empty paddock over there belongs to Junior, our all around gelding, which we show in all around shows. He is, he does best in um, gaming. And then over here is our stallion. Um, we use him to breed to our three mares every year. Um, we find it's just cheaper to do that than pay for stud fees. Um, and also he does cover other mares too, so he brings in some money for us. But, um, so there he is. Uh, he does not have a name. As I said, not many other horses have names. Um, and then we have this series of nine paddocks. Um, three in each row. Three rows. Three times three is nine. Um, so, so then right here, we'll start on this end. This is a little reigning um, gelding, buckskin, quarter horse, really pretty boy. Oh, stand up. Okay. Then this right here is a horse that's in training for saddle seat. Um, so, all these horses are in training. Most of the horses that we have here are in training or waiting to be trained. So, yep. All right, and then we have here another reigning mare. Um, she's a dapple flaxen chestnut mare, court horse. So at least all of our reigners basically are court horses. Although we do have, no, we don't, never mind. Um, this is our gaming horse, Arabian. She is very spunky. Um, she needs a very experienced rider, but she's cute. And then we have our um, cutting, um, well, basically our cow pony paint mare. She's really, really pretty. So, everybody likes her. And then there, that is that horse's paddock. Um, she is a barrel racer. They're just heading down to the arena, which you'll see in a second, to practice turning some barrels. That's where these guys are headed also. So, And then we have this little National Show Horse mare, who is training to be saddle seat also. So, And then this... Um, Oh, uh, what's your name? Uh, well, he doesn't have a name. What's his breed? Oh, this Tennessee Walker is in training to do what Tennessee Walkers do, I guess, Western Pleasure. Um, so, yeah. Blue Roan, gelding. It's a mare. It's a mare. It's a mare. Gelding. Stallion. Mare. Yeah. Gelding. Mare. Okay. This little, um, Pentavian mare, um, she's in training for Western Pleasure. And as I said, that paddock belongs to that horse. Okay, I have to be careful so I don't knock these paddocks. Um, okay, and then, as you see there, there's one of our riders, and then there's the, there's the other person. Okay, this is the mare in full paddock. Um, I know it's not very large, but they don't really mind. Um, so, we have the three mares, and then there are three foals over there. Um, they're fine with leaving their foals by themselves because there's really no one else in the paddock, so. It's not like it matters. Um, so, um, some of these guys, two of these mares actually have names. That is Belle, and then that's Shania, and then that's a, she is, a American Warmblood, and then she is, a, a Egyptian Arab, she's a Shaggy Arabian, and then this is a paint, Shania's a paint, um, and then their little foals, this is um, Bill's foal. He is a national show horse. I mean, not a national show horse. An American Warm Blood. And American Warm Bloods come in all colors. So, yep. And then this is, wait, no, I got this screwed up. That is Bell's foal. So this is the American Warm Blood. 
that's her fault. Yeah. Okay, and then this is Shania's fault, sorry. So this is Shania's fault. Paint. Gelding, or Colt, or whatever. And then this Arabian filly. She's really cute. So, there we go. Whoop. And there are stalls in the barn. But all the doors are open up to the paddock. And then they have a pond in there. And all the paddocks have waterers in them. Same with those guys. Okay. Then, this is our arena. Ugh, that's our arena. Um, so here's the arena. Um, in the arena, we have our little trophy thing. But it's a cone. I mean, it's a barrel. Since it's taller than foals, it's not very realistic. Um, and then we have this gigantic pasture. Where we keep the horses that are going to be in training, or the, like, the two-year-old foals. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find. Um, this is an older foal. This is Belle's foal. One of Belle's foal. She's it's two years old now. Then this is Shania's foal. He is also two years old now. And then, um, we sold, um, the Arabian's other foal. But, yeah. Sorry, my foot is just so itching my foot on this. But, um, the other ones we bought, um, oh, and I forgot to say, that stallion all the way down there in the corner that I showed you, the black one, he sh he sired all the foals, and then these three, those two that I showed you. This guy is in training, well, he's not, he is going to start training in, in saddle seat. He's a saddlebred gelding. Yeah, no, it's a stallion, whatever. Um, okay, and then this cutting mare, we... Um, she was started in cutting. We bought her in an auction, and we're going to finish her in cutting. She's trying to cut this horse right now. Um, and then, as I said, Belle's full. She will be starting training as a jumper. She's an American warm blood. And then this thoroughbred. Um, he was um, a colt of one of our older broodmares, but we sold her. So, yep, there he is. Um, he is three years old now. And then here's her other foal. He is now two years old. So they will both be starting training as racers. And then this is another racing horse that we bought. Um, uh, yeah, so. Yep, and then where we practice racing is sort of down in that area because that's like as big as a half mile racetrack. So that's where we practice. And sometimes we sprint through those alleyways, but it upsets the horses, so we don't do that anymore. But um, I'll give you an overview of it, and then that's our Mini Winnie Barn Tour. So, there it is. Yep, it's pretty awesome. Um, some people were wondering where this fencing came from. I got it from another, like, it came with another set because it's not like the briar fencing. Um, I use the briar fencing in the full paddock because I call it full proof, even though it's not. But, yeah, it's just a different type of fencing to make it look more realistic. I'm just saying it's full proof. So, yeah, that's the real briar fencing. That is with the barn. So yeah. Yep, that's my mini mini barn tour. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hi kitty. She likes to sit up on that thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. She's pretty cool. And then Yukon's passed out in the kitchen under the chair. Hi, Cleo. Hi. How are you? She's like I'm good. Thanks for asking. Hi, kitty cat. What you doing? Are you hiding from the puppy dog? Hi. Hi, kitty. I bet you guys are wondering how she gets up there. Well, she makes a big mess, but she jumps from here. She jumps on the fridge, and then she jumps up to there, and then she climbs up there. And sometimes she goes up there, and it's kind of a mess and stuff. So, yep. Goodbye.